What's happening beautiful people? My name is Dirty Mike and welcome to the free kick tutorial and if you guys enjoy this type of content Please drop a like pass it around the community show your friends So we get it going out to a much larger base audience and I'm gonna be covering the all-purpose the power fix as well as the distance driving I think I've got a couple techniques that are not out there on YouTube We will find out together you guys can let me know in the comments if you need any cheap safe instant reliable servers on ultimate team coins Just FIFA coins you dirty for 5% off and hold on what if you need codes? What if you need cheap games? I've also got G2A in the description. Use Dirty, you get a discount. Let's go! To kickstart the FIFA goodness, we've got the all-purpose. And this might be the most commonly conceded goal in terms of free kicks. Between 18 and 24 yards, we've got a freeze frame, De Bruyne. And I like to have a right footer on the right side of the pitch and a left footer on the left side of the pitch. And it's just going to go straight over the wall. As you're filling up the power bar, you're going to hold forward or, or up. On the left analog, it gives it a natural dip, and you've got a lot of room for mistake here. You've got a bit of a larger margin for error, and you either want to aim right over the head of the fourth man in the wall or in between the third and fourth man. I found that that is the most effective way, and some of that's just dependent on how confident you are that you can make this happen. You can put it into the corner. What kind of goalkeeper you're going up against? Do you have a free kick taker that's got a lot of curve? Ah, and we've got the power fix. One of the significant changes in FIFA 15 in terms of free kicks. This flies into the back of the net and it's just building off the all-purpose. Nothing changes outside of you need a little bit of extra power. You're still going to be using the exact same aiming procedure. This is from about 25 to 29, maybe even 30 yards out. You're not using any extra commands. You don't need to drive the ball. You're just going to be placing it into the back of the net. You're still holding forward. You're still holding upward on that left analog as you're filling up the power bar. And the key key is to get at least two bars of power. If you can get a little bit extra, just depends if you're hitting it from 25 if you're hitting it from 30. You're going to need a little over uh, two bars of power if you're going 28, 29, 30 yards in order to get this in the top corner, but it flies over the wall. Sometimes it might even go just around it, and the goalkeeper never had a chance. You're going to be scoring free kicks left and right. In the final segment, we've got distance driving. Now you're hitting it from a little bit farther out, and you're going to have to make some significant changes. First freeze frame, you're going to notice. If you're on the PlayStation, you're holding L1. If you're on the Xbox, you're holding LB, and that tells your free kick taker, I'm going to drive this. I need to have additional power. And from 30 to 34, you're still looking around 2-ish on the bars, and you're going to have to drift it around the wall. I don't like to go over the wall from far out. I think the keeper gets a really bad read if you go around the wall. And that's where you see me moving a little bit different in terms of aiming. I've now put the second man is going to be on that post. And then we're just going to diagonal it just around. So you're holding forward at a diagonal angle. So it goes forward and it's going to add a little bit of spin. And you really need to have a good free kick taker to hit it from 30 35, even 40 yards. You cannot use average free kick takers. You've got to have someone who can generate some power. And then on the other example, we've got Snyder now on the right side. Everything's the same. You're going to be holding it diagonally. You're going to go forward on the left analog stick and then add a diagonal. So it's a little bit to the left if you're taking it from the right side. It's a little bit to the right if you're taking it from the left side. And it's just going to drift into that corner. The keepers get a very late reaction. I'm not going to say it's a bug, but I feel like keepers just don't pay attention all that well on on a lot of different free kicks and I just wanted to show one more example at the tad in there just full speed Robert Green fumbles it into his net but if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to drop a thumbs up subscribe to my channel follow me on Twitter and Facebook at Dirty Mike USA and I have a lot more content come for you ASAP ASAP